Here we can take a look at a shroud I designed for a Delta style printer. Uh, I designed it with uh, several goals in mind. The first would be to have the effector near the bottom as close as possible so I can optimize my print height. Uh, I wanted to keep the heater block below the effector. I didn't want it up inside. That way you can print one of these at a PLA and you don't have to worry about it getting soft. We have our, our filament uh, cooling coming from this chamber here aimed directly down on our filament. We have our uh, heat sink cooling right here. This is for a 30 millimeter fan track. This one is also for a 30 millimeter fan track. And we have venting right here for this shroud so we have air blowing straight across the fins instead of inside and down which is this here is a replica of the shroud that comes on the newer Castle Minis. I've added uh, uh, vents on this side. There were vents on this side that I broke out but uh, the original one that comes from doesn't have vents so when it cools the heat sink here it blows down onto the heater block and you have a hard time keeping that heater block up to temperature. So uh, you can find this on Thingiverse as well as my other design here but this is my latest design and uh, I spent a lot of work and a lot of time on this developing this and it's very compact as you can see um, and uh, besides the uh, the height here uh, the compact size of the effector itself if we look at it versus this one uh, gives us an optimal print area as well besides height there's, there's quite a bit of difference there as you can see and this is this sacrifices print area so I, I don't want to sacrifice any print area at all so therefore I used the minimal amount or minimal size effector I could be allowed uh, this is a standard size J head hot end inside and as you can notice here this shroud also has the ability to uh, auto level your bed if you see it works quite well so it's a three piece uh, uh, shroud here you have your arm which your hot end is attached to and you have a little locking plate that will go on here it just slides on and you put a little screw in there to hold it in place and it slips off and there's just enough gap in there that it forces underneath and it keeps this tight in place so what that little arm allows us to do if you see I have a screw in there that's my pivot point that little arm allows us to do if you can hear this so we can use our hot end to level our bed so now uh, what I've effectively done here was incorporate uh, three optimizing features the first height and uh, as I said I didn't want this heater block up inside here I didn't want it up in there. I wanted it out here in the open I didn't want it anywhere near uh, this cooling the cooling for the uh, heat sink so uh, regardless of how opt optimized I have this I'm always gonna I'm, I'm gonna be left with this amount below the my effector which is still much better than the inch and a half for the J head heatsink that you normally have below there and the second thing is I've used the smallest effector possible giving us allowing uh, an optimal print area in your X and Y direction this thing is very very compact very compact to, to, as I said to give you an idea of how compact here's the standard one that comes on your new uh, Castle Minis, the Micro Make, and the new Any Cubics. It also has uh, auto level feature, and here is the one I've developed. Very, very compact. Um, again, though, it requires that you, uh, for this style, it requires that you uh, drop down to 30 millimeter cooling for both for both fans. Uh, I don't think any more than 30 millimeter cooling is necessary for the hot end uh, unless you're going to much uh, 
higher heat requirement filaments. But for PLA and ABS, I don't think anything more than 30 millimeter will be necessary. Uh, for cooling the heat sink as well, if you're, uh, if you're doing ABS and PLA, I don't think anything more than 30 millimeter is necessary. Uh, this one does use 40s on both sides, but you're, you're sacrificing a huge print area on, on that. I don't know if I put this one side by side and get these wires out of the way, you can see that in the same orientation, the size difference, both in the same identical orientation, we're good a good three quarters of an inch there. Now this one does keep the heater block up inside, but that also uh, causes your cooling fan here to cool that heater block as well, which makes it very difficult to maintain temperature. So set that aside. There's another one I have designed. I use on a couple of my other printers. This is uh, there's there's no auto level with this, and it's uh, made for like maximum cooling of your filament, which might be unnecessary. But I find this cooling is good for uh, PLAs that have like a metal content to them. Like when I'm printing copper, copper filled PLA, I I prefer cooling like this. That way, it, it doesn't uh, I don't ruin my my heat sink with the copper heating up inside the heat sink and jamming it up. But again, this is just a basic uh, shroud uh, model to an effector. Uh, and it doesn't optimize height and there's no auto bed level. But my new design, which can be found on Thingiverse, uh, optimizes height, print area, as well as incorporates auto bed leveling um, so check it out download it print it out tell me what you think of it uh, if you like it you find it useful give me a thumbs up thanks for watching